Hey guys, what's going on? Tinker here, coming back at you again for another Versus video. Today we have the battle for redemption. We have Serismon versus Imperial Dramon. Ooh, these both have been smacked by Shine Greymon, but who will come out on top for that second place finish? Let's find out. But first, we've got a word from our sponsor. Is this you? Playing on a plane like that? just wasn't designed for this game. Wondering what you can do? Well, look no further! Chao Sugi! Chao Sugi is a place for all your Digimon TCG needs. It has from keyrings to sleeves to playmats. You see me, I'm a massive Omnimon fan. So this mat right here, this is a piece of me. So that's going in the cart. And then we'll find these sleeves. These sleeves are very nice, so we'll add that in too. And then we just go to check out and apply code Team Crit. Hit, no spaces, all in caps, and that will get you your 5% discount. With that, you can buy anything else you want. All the comments for a deck, another pack of sleeves, it's yours, it's up to you. We're just passing on the savings. Ciao, Sugi, go to them today. Right, guys, let's get straight into it. You've got Serismon on your left and Imperial Drummond on your right. Serismon plays just going to hatch a Minamino, and they're going to Evo it into a Terriamon, drawing one card. They're then going to Evo it into a Gargamon, passing one over to the blue player. The blue player is going to draw and hatch a Demi Vmon. And then Evo that Demi Vmon into a Vmon, drawing a card. And they're just going to pay one memory, evolving into that Gorillamon. And use a Hammer Spark to gain that memory back. And then play that Davis for four. And they're going to reveal a Vmon, an X Vmon, and a Imperial Dramon. And they're just going to take that Imperial Drum on there. Green is going to draw and then push that Gargamon forward. Then they're just going to Evo that into the Argomon hard playing that for free. And they're just going to Digizorb that Argomon into a Serismon for two, and Davis will pass that to three. The blue player here is going to draw and bring that Gorillamon forward. And then they're just going to play Gomamon for two, and Evo that Gomamon into a Grizzlymon for one. That Serismon is just going to stand, and they're going to hatch another Minamion. And either that into a Goblinmon. They're then going to play a Cavitariumon on top for one. And they're just going to swing with that Serismon. Reeling the hammer spark. Now the Arg the green player will actually click on here. The Argomon should have triggered before the revealing of the security. So he is actually going to play the Terriamon. Now, since the Terriamon should have been out before the security was revealed, that would mean that the two memory isn't gained from the hammer spark. So it is still the green player's turn. Now this is why it's always important to just take your time and reveal it and play at an important pace because as I say, the green there had another effect. Blue just, you know, they, they just thought the only thing coming at them was that security attack. So it's always important just to let your opponent give them a bit of time just to play their cards. And he's just going to play another Terrium on there for free, so as we can see the Argomon was always going to play the Terrium on there. And the blaze on the draw and hatch a demi vmon and either that into an electmon. And then just play another Davis, passing one over, revealing a Dino Beamon, a Grizzly Mon, and a Bacho Sting Mon, and they're gonna get the Grizzly Mon and the Dino B, because Davis adds a green and a blue if you reveal both. 
and the Sarasmon is just going to stand and the Cabotarium one will come forward to join the board. And you should sort of play a Cabotarium on top of that Terrium one for one. And then play the Charium one for two. And the Davis obviously pushed that to three. And the Elecmon's gonna come forward for the blue player. And the blue player's just gonna play that Dino B they managed to find onto that Grillamon. And then just play another Grizzly Mon for two, drawing the card. Passing turnover, the green player is going to hatch a Minamino. And play a hidden potential discovered, resting a Terriamon, but he's just debating that. And it's actually going to go with the Cabotariumon. I think that's smarter to play the Mecha Galgamon, which is going to rest the Dino Beamon, and that will be unable to stand during the next turn. And this will also give the Mecha plus one security attack. The Ceres is going to digital one of those blockers to evolve that Cabotariumon into an Argomon. Now the green player is actually just going to play that Woodmon onto the Terriamon. Now this is a risky move because if he is going to swing at security this turn, that would mean that the Hammer Spark works, he could have done all this afterwards. But I do understand why he's doing, he just wants to show all the retails on the board. The Blossommon is going to come on top of that Woodmon, Digi's all up in the Woodmon. And that Mecha Galgamon is going to swing into the Dino B. Then that Ceres is going to swing into the Dino B because the first one got blocked. Leaving one blocker on the blue player's board. And the green player there is just going to pass, not going to overextend, I like that. The blue player is going to hatch an Oopamon, and that Grizzlymon will stand in a second, they're just going to Evo that Vmon. There we go. And they're just going to play a Paladromon on top of that Grizzlymon. Paladromon's going to swing over the Argomon just to stop as many resources coming onto the board now. Now I must inform you, these are the post-rotation lists, which is why you're seeing multiple Argomon here. And then the Imperial's just going to come on top of the Paladromon restanding itself, passing free over to the green player. The Ceres Mons and the Digizor, that Imperial, to play another Ceres for two. Then I'm going to play an Argon top of the Minimino, drawing a card. And the Ceres is going to swing over the Imperial because it does have the Galgamon giving it plus 1k, and the Mech is going to swing for one. Now the Mech could have swung for two there, but something could have gone wrong, and then the Ceres is going to swing as well. And it hits an Imperial in the security, so that dies, unfortunately. And he's just going to play a Gargamon for one on top of that Argomon, and then play Blossom one for three, since Davis will put the memory to three anyway. The so is just going to bring forward the Vmon here and draw. And hard play an Elecmon. And also hard play a Gomamon. The Green player is just going to stand there, Ceres, and then Mecha Gargo. Draw a card and bring the Blossom forward. The Mecha is going to swing, be on Imperial, so the Mecha Gargamon is going to get deleted there. The Ceres is going to swing at security, and it's a 
X V Mon unfortunately and the Blossom Mon is gonna swing for game there. Well that was a very good game as we see Ceres Mon has taken that one. So Ceres Mon is now the second place as we see it. Um as I say this is before the restriction list has come into play, so this is obviously different now. We're hopefully gonna have that restriction list coming out very soon to yourself. I think this was a great game. If you also think this is a great game, then I just encourage you to like, comment, subscribe, follow us on Facebook, and we will see you next time. But wait, once again, we have got a word from our second sponsor first. Yes, you heard that right, a second sponsor. They are Crit Hit Games. Crit Hit Games are a gaming cafe that specialise in everything tabletop. Whether your passion be D&D, &D, whether it be board games, or whether your passion be card games like us, Crit Hit has something for you. What they also have is a store that once COVID regulations have passed and we can all go back, I would recommend visiting in Liverpool. That store has some of the most friendly and welcoming staff that you could ever ask for. So guys... Please go and support Crit Hit, especially because they're supporting you. What they have done is they've gone out on their own and they've supplied us with a discount code for you all. What the discount code is, is Crit Hit Digi Team. I'll leave that on the screen for you. So go through the store, pick up your miniatures, put that in at the checkout, and you're all ready to go. So, see you next time, guys.